So does increasing the minimum wage increase inflation? Check this out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, Hey, Charles, what's up? Hey, Tom. I was calling about uh, the minimum wage, Bernie's minimum wage, $15 an hour. Right. It's my opinion. I'd like to know yours. Uh, if you raise the minimum wage, that raises the cost of living because whoever has to pay that extra money is going to pass it on to the consumer. Nope. And it's going to go all the way down. And if this can, if, if this company has raised their wage, then this other company is going to raise theirs. So your milk to cars are going to go up. Nope. And what happens then is your middle class does not get the pay raise. So therefore, the the lower class, the lower wage, is not really any better off. And the middle class is closer to the, or not class, but the wage, is, lo is lower. It's a very clever logic, Charles, and Republicans have been using that logic since 1934 when Franklin Roosevelt passed the minimum wage. And the minimum wage has been raised 38 times since then, sometimes substantially, sometimes, you know, more than a single percent, you know, real substantial wages, uh, wage increases. And it's also been frozen for the last, uh, geez, I think it's about a decade now. Um, if it was true that raising the minimum wage at the federal level, nationwide, if it was true that raising the minimum wage increased the cost of living, then the Republicans would be able to tell you the year that that happened most visibly. They would be going, but what, 1972, you know, in 1972, the minimum wage went up 1%, and the cost of living went up eight tenths of a percent. They, you, would, you would have that year burned into your brain, Charles. It has literally never happened. What happens when the minimum wage goes up is that companies tighten their belts, they pay their senior executives a little less, they reduce their dividends. Uh, they, they actually, because wages are tax deductible, their taxes go down slightly, so they have, you know, they can afford to pay that. Um, and the most important thing that happens when the minimum wage goes up, and we're seeing this right now in, in, the, in the 10 or so states that in the last three year, two or three years, through mostly ballot initiatives, in a couple of places it was just, you know, the, the uh, the politicians themselves substantially raised their minimum wage. I mean, you've got a bunch of states, democratically controlled states around the country, where the minimum wage is now 15 bucks or is headed toward 15 bucks right now. And what ha and and in fact, you know, this really started in a big way in the second year, I believe, of the Obama administration. Um, I'd have to go back and look at the exact year when uh, SeaTac, you know, when the when the town outside Seattle where the airport is raised their minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour, and everybody said, "Oh my God, you know, if they're going to go bankrupt and the city's going to lose and their and cost of living is going to blah," and and what happened? Economic activity increased. Economic activity in every single state that has raised the minimum wage has increased. I believe that one of the main reasons why the economy is good enough that Donald Trump can brag about it right now, one of the reasons why unemployment is so low as it is right now, is because all these democratically controlled states have been raising the minimum wage. And the proof of that is that when you look state by state at increase in GDP month, year after year after year on a state by state basis, it is the democratic states that are seeing the fastest increase in gross domestic product or, or you know, in, in state domestic product. You're, that's where you're seeing the economies grow without inflation, without an increase in cost of living. And the reason why is very, very simple. The principal driver of the economy, over 70% of all the, the driving power of an economy is not the Fed, it's not the stock market. It's not taxes or federal spending or state spending. It is, it, it, it's referred to by economists as aggregate demand. And aggregate demand is a fancy economist way of saying how much money people have in their pocket every payday. Exactly. Aggregate demand is a function of wages. So when wages right. go up, when people who are making eight bucks an hour are now making 15 bucks an hour, they don't, you know, they don't just put that money under the mattress. They go out and buy stuff. And when they go out and buy stuff, the people who sell stuff and the people who make stuff need, are selling more of it and making more of it, which means that they have to hire more people to sell it and make it. And that's a virtuous cycle. Whenever the minimum wage increases, 
economic activity goes up. And you can prove that looking at individual cities. You can prove that looking at individual counties. You can prove that looking at individual states. So the whole narrative that you just laid out, Charles, very easy to believe. I've heard it a thousand times in my life. And it's, like I said, it's the sales pitch that the GOP started with in 1934. But it, it, there's absolutely, literally no evidence to support it. Ready to change your mind? No, not at all. Okay. By, by, <laughs> no, listen, I understand everything you've said, right. and, and I agree with it. But the, the GDP will go up because people are spending more money, and they're spending more money, but are they getting more product? Yes. I don't think so. If they I'm weren't getting any more product, I'm you wouldn't have more GDP. Years old. No, no. If you have, uh, if you have an increase in spending without an increase, without if, if, what you're describing is an inflationary situation, and that's not what happens. It is an inflationary. In no, if if it's if not, you're increasing your spending and you're increasing GDP and you're not increasing standard of living, that's inflation by definition. And that's not what happens when, minimum, when the minimum wage goes up. You know, talk to any person who owns a business, Charles. Wages are only one of many expenses. And in many industries, wage, uh, wages agree. are the principal one. In many industries, they're a minimal one. And, and, you know, when wages go up, companies figure out ways to accommodate that. And the best way to accommodate they it is to have more demand for their product or service.